Hello everyone, this is uh, Antonio from uh, Random Stuff and uh, back again with another quick video on uh, a subject which um, I was I was asked by somebody who made a comment on one of my uh, videos regarding my favourite ROM which is this one that you've seen now which I'll just quickly show you once again and if I go to software info you can see I'm still on version 5 of Cloudy G3 2.5 still nothing out there which um, I found that could replace it although I would love to be on something like 5.5 uh, 5 or even Marshmallow but I'll have to wait for that um, this video is regarding exposed the the question was um, you know what kind of modules you know would I recommend or what modules do I use for exposed first of all the the guide on uh, how to use and run exposed on your LG G3 uh, for lollipop ROMs is up a description link um, below this video where there's some things some caveats and things to be aware of um, you know it is you know in theory experimental and nothing has changed from when it was experimental because the ROM is the same as what it was when the uh, notices were put out and the warnings that you know that, that the exposed is an alpha version etc etc although it has improved and uh, I've had no issues with it whatsoever if I um, go into my tools <coughs> folder uh, as you probably can see from uh, this and also from my previous uh, videos I have lots of applications in excess of 250 applications and the LG3 LG G3 uh, is able to handle it very very well so if I quickly go into the uh, exposed in, in, installer here that you'll see now next to it was the app settings let me just quickly go back did you see that so you've got the exposed installer you've got the app settings there on the left hand side and there's also some of the um, elements that I use like for example greenify which I'll show you in a moment um, there's also the um, this one which is missing that I can't see in the list which means I've lost it and I need to put it back uh, but I'll um, quickly show you now when I go into installer into the installer so um, if I go to the framework um, I have this issue here where I can see that I've got 61 app processes and the, the exposed bridge jar is 64 which is fine it's green you know I had to reboot you know if you follow the procedure of how to get it on there you, you'll have something similar the installation is only possible manually via recovery now it says and that's how I how I did it um, so it doesn't look as great as it used to when I was on the uh, on the previous on the uh, kick out ROMs anyway let's go into the tab here and if I look at the modules these are the modules that I've installed now it goes um, uh, well the most popular one I think for most people will probably be the app settings app settings is, is really really great it basically allows you to control uh, all the apps in the phone um, to manage exactly how they are uh, displaying uh, the text, the size, the widget, the DPI and once you modify one of these it shows up red so if I just quickly scroll, I haven't modified many but for example I've modified the BBC News you know I've changed the font scale, the screen DP, DPI as you can see there let's see which other ones I haven't used too many there's one Nova Launcher, I've modified Nova Launcher as well. I've got a DPI 500, font scale of 100. Okay, so that's just to give you an idea. I've got APV YouTube module so that um, I can have uh, YouTube videos pop up on the screen and they can just float and uh, that behaves very well and I'm quite happy with that. I don't use the the awesome pop-up video but I downloaded it. Uh, fake Wi-Fi connection sometimes um, it's good to be able to to fake a Wi-Fi connection in order to 
to do certain things so for example if I wanted to upload some pictures to my Google Photos uh, I've said it that it only does it with Wi-Fi I could either change that and make it that it would do it also when it's on 3G or alternatively I could pretend that I'm on Wi-Fi when I'm not and uh, get the photos to upload that's just a silly example force three dots menu um, I don't really use it but I downloaded it gravity box is what's missing from the previous screen that I was looking and I couldn't find um, gravity box is excellent because um, it gives you a nice um, um, uh, GUI of options that you can change and I will show you that in a moment greenify if I just go to greenify you can see that there are some um, um, experimental stuff that you can use here uh, you can also do some more advanced things, uh, but you do need to, to purchase the donation package. I don't really use it enough, to be honest with you, but I, I was using Greenify um, uh, to improve the performance of the, of the phone. But you can see there's a few that I've ticked there. Uh, then the Handsent uh, no inbox ads. I'm not using Handsense anymore, uh, so I have forgotten to get rid of that, but it got rid of the annoying ad at the top. The no device check is something that I use to um, disable the device compatibility check and also the root cloak. Now root cloak is a beta version. I've, uh, I've used it to, uh, to, to, to actually hide the fact that I am rooted so I can run applications such as for example my, my bank application which will not work unless um, I have a device which is not rooted. Unwatch, watch the, uh, watch the watchers, you can look at that if you want, and YouTube background, play back the music when the YouTube is, um, when the screen goes off, the YouTube uh, video or, or song continues to play. Unwatch, there's no uh, user interface, if you don't know, if you want to know what that does, just uh, check it out on, um, on the modules. So let's go, let's just go back into uh, the modules, I just want to show you about the uh, root cloak, Oops, sorry to download as you can see gravity inbox I've got the installed version of 5.33 uh, at the moment uh, let's just do a check for root let's do search and root cloak there it is so basically I've got version 1.52 uh, in case you don't know um, that is a beta version and the only reason I'm able to, to install it and use it is because I've gone into the versions to be shown and I've chosen beta um, to be visible. So, you know, I accept the fact that there may be some bugs, but I've had no problems. So that's that one, no device check. As you can see, there are lots and lots of, the, of these, um, there's Unwatch that I mentioned before. Exposure was designed to allow users to use a rooted device in a corporate environment secured by AirWatch. It disables root and insecure bootloader detection for uh, AirWatch products. Additionally, it always returns to generic product string, avoiding the requirement to install OEM specific. So basically, you have some corporate devices that will not be able to be used if they're rooted. And this is just a way to um, sort of uh, cover that or hide. There's plenty of modules to choose and I have had quite a few different ones over the uh, the months, years, uh, you know, ad blocker, there's so, there's so many, that's another one I've got there, uh, you know, disabled proximity, many, 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 it's just, it's just a personal thing really, so whatever you want to do, chances are there's something there for you to use. So that's that, and if I look into my applications, if I look at, uh, G3, no, nothing, gravity, there it is, so this one, this is protection from Nova, I have to do that, so I can put that into my tools, oh I did have it, I did actually have it there, but anyway this is the gravity uh, box for Lollipop, and as you can see there's some uh, lock screen uh, background changes that you can make, and you can see my some you know my clock at the top is in the middle you know everything is the way it is because of me putting it like that double tap to sleep that's my unlock very good status bar tweaks you, know, you can change colors and what have you pie controls don't really use pie 
controls, navigation keys, single tap action, the default, you know, that's very, very good. Volume cursor control so that you know you could uh, on the previous screen that you can with uh, pressing the back buttons with your index finger you can go left or right in, in a word to modify it. But there's lots and lots of these. Uh, just as a final um, thing before I finish the video, I'll just uh, quickly give you a glance over the uh, uh, device, my device, and how I've uh, set it up. Um, if I um, if I touch something. You know, this top is locked by Nova Launcher, so I, I have to press on the padlock to uh, to be able to move and modify them. Um, of course, the most useful and sorry for me personally, the most used uh, applications: the touch of a hand. You've got this lens um, application that takes pictures of uh, of basically uh, letters, receipts, and it crops them for you automatically. Fantastic app, really love it. Um, which is this one here? Um, I won't go into it now. Um, then you've got uh, Pocket at the top here, which is a fantastic application as well. Um, you've got the um, this, this this application here. The um, um, it's like a squid. Well, not squid. Sorry, <laughs> an octopus. That um, should I answer is called. And um, if I receive calls from marketeers or people, you know, trying to sell me things, unsolicited calls, it warns me, and it, it works really, really well. Facebook, I've got Hangouts, I've got uh, Kakao, uh, WhatsApp on there as well, and, and then if I go into some of the folders, for example, this is my Google stuff that I use. And I've got my favourite apps here, some of them, probably have some missing. Some tools, SCR Pro, nice application to record videos, Swipad, which I still love. Sports applications, some of my favorite browsers. Kill that off. Inbox at Gmail at the bottom. Then going over here, we've got Keep, which I've shrank to the left so that I don't show my, my notes. And uh, you can see some of the applications that I use here. Got Google Authenticator down here is fantastic. Then I've got TV stuff here where I've got my Kodi with the Yahtzee remote control working beautifully photo apps and editing images casting finance stores some of the shops a couple of just chess games just some games not too many games a couple there for my son what else got the um, live score app which is fantastic for the football uh, games that I follow any 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 game which is um, red is a team that I follow and I can go into any of these for example I can go into the let's get to a, a, a game that's actually happened so if I go and see AC Milan get all the details of the game scorers etc uh, at the bottom I've got my news Sport, should I say, BBC Sport app, and great news for Fury, who stuns the world in the um, heavyweight boxing title um, of Klitschko. And moving on, got Flipboard, excellent app. Got a sport. Uh, I've got the news uh, BBC widget here. I've got some other news applications there, and then gadget at the top. This is my Yahtzee uh, remote control to control Cody off my TV. Some music applications. And this is my Appy Geek, fantastic application as well. Um, Aptoid is the alternative uh, market to Google Play. If, uh, if you haven't used that, just have a look at that. Aptoid is uh, pretty cool. Sometimes you'll find that you'll you'll get the newer version of an app on here before you get it on Google Play. Don't use it a hell of a lot, but it is good to have it. As you can see, how many pages I've got at the bottom? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven or twelve. So I've got 
5 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 by 5, that's 30. So I've got about 10, just over 10. Well, that's over 300 apps, isn't it? So that shows you how much, how many apps are on my phone. I don't use them all, but I like to have them all on there in case I need them. And also because I can, you know, the, uh, the device is so good that it can handle them all. If I look at the um, applications, see, I've got 461 being uh, used. Do that again. Still 485. So last thing um, I wanted to show you was uh, one of the exposed modules, which I think most people would use. Um, it's pretty good. It's the um, the green fire. So as you can see here, you can basically stop, and uh, you can greenify and you know, snooze applications. I won't go into it because I'm not doing a review on this, but. Um, it's, it's quite a good uh, good one to have and the exposed module that I use um, lets me tap into uh, different uh, APIs I believe which uh, can do extra things that's it I hope this uh, video has been uh, of use to anyone who was thinking of, um, of using exposed and to show what kind of modules you can use with your LG G3 on Lollipop using uh, the latest exposed for that for that particular version check the link below on how you uh, set it up i've got a bit of a <clears throat> tight voice uh, uh, this evening and uh, thanks very much for watching everyone until the next one take care cheers bye